garden and today I thought I would talk about a concept in permaculture called zoning and the idea is that you have various zones from one to five although there are some that are so the zone zero is your house and zone zero zero is yourself but then when you're moving outside you have various zones and the idea is that the things that you're going to use the most are going to be near as the house so I thought I'd show you what I've done here in this little border which is directly opposite the house so I can just pop out of the door and come to this little border here and harvest things that I use regularly and we have got various salad leaves and herbs we've got some chives we've got some winter savoury we've got some sorrel got thyme, got some salad onions, bunching onions, which are just there. We've got, we've got some wild cabbage that um, I, I use as salad leaves and also as cooking greens. And then this is Claytonia. This will sell seed and it will die back in the summer all the little seedlings down here that's lamb's lettuce some different type of salad onions these are Egyptian walking onions some more thyme we've got parsley just coming back to life here and we've got some oregano just coming back to life here And we've got some sage over in the corner and these are all things that I leave in once it's planted it's planted and they're not I don't have to keep planting it every year this is all um, either self-seeding or perennial in this border here but what I will do is I will plant some annual lettuce in some of these trays and put those along the wall there and we have some more salad leaves for the summer okay, okay so I, I will mention as well that as well as the things that I've planted we've got some volunteers that I've just left in um, and these are things that you might find pop up in your garden and it's worth leaving a patch because they are edible so we've got some broadleaf willow herb here which I'm sure most gardeners will recognize and you can use that as a salad leaf it's quite a good substitute for lamb's lettuce which is growing in amongst <clears throat> we've also got some dandelion which is just self-seeded in there that we can use <coughs> oh, excuse me some nettles i usually i'll pick the young leaves and then when it gets bigger i will pull that out but you can might as well make use of it while it's there what else have we got? We have got some, I don't know if you can see this very well, I'll pull a bit out. This is known as um, cleavers or goose grass, sticky willy, and that is edible as well. Better when it's young because it can get a bit hairy as it gets older and it gets loads of little seed pods on it later in the year. So eat it while it's young and then pull it up. So there we go, there's probably more in here, but that's all I can see at the moment with a quick glance around. So I use permaculture design in my garden and the idea behind using permaculture is that you work with nature rather than against her, that you um, do the easiest job you can, be as efficient as you can and use uh, design principles that make life easier. So with that in mind, um, one of the concepts in permaculture is um, a concept known as zoning with the idea being that you zone the uh, activities that you do in the garden so that things that you use frequently are close to the house. So with my zone one, I have a herb garden and um, salad leaves that I use most days and that's this border here that I'm sat next to which is directly opposite the house. 
that's it i think that's the concept of zoning that's zone one maybe we'll do a zone two another time oh another thing that you can think of for zone one so it's not necessarily just exactly in front of the house also on paths that you use a lot so along the um, drive that would be classed as zone one so you plant your things that you use a lot and that need a lot of attention in zone one okay i hope that was useful i'll see you again next time bye